not the huge place. So a lot of these proposals are going to need approval from all the neighborhoods. These are the proposals that New York City residents need in order to start narrowing the wealth gap that is going to afflict our, our city if we don't start taking care of it right now. When we have an economic recovery, we've got to make sure that it means a shared prosperity for everyone. So these are proposals, just like many other proposals my office puts out there, that will require legislative approval. And we'll continue to study the issues that are relevant and important to New Yorkers and craft the solutions that are necessary. I mean, Albany has a lot of other things going on. They can get, you know, the state minimum wage increases approved yet. Um, and then obviously gun control, all sorts of other issues. So is this really just outlining some sort of platform for a potential 2013 run for mayor? This is about studying the critical issues facing New Yorkers as we head into what is hopefully going to be an economic recovery. A recovery that will be like the last recovery that benefited only the top percentage of New Yorkers, but not, it did not mean a shared prosperity for everybody. We need to make, change city and state policies now so that the economic recovery will mean a shared prosperity. These are issues that my office has been looking at over the past year, and we will continue to study the issues and propose the solutions. Some of them will require legislative approval, and obviously we'll work with our state and city legislators to make it happen. But there are other things that we can do on our own. Uh, this past year, I'm very proud that we were able to effectuate the capital acceleration plan that will now bring projects much quicker online, save taxpayers money, and create thousands of jobs in the process. Are you going to announce that you're running for mayor? Are you going to run for controller again? <laughs> I, I, I'm just elated that you are here today, Mr. Controller. Oh, hey, John, are you, um, are you getting a little nostalgic because this could be, I mean, unless you have another one um, before the end of next year, this could be sort of the second and final state of the city, at least in this office. Are you getting a little nostalgic? Listen, we've got another 12 and a half months in this office, and that's a lot of time. There'll be a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of things done and said. In the months to come. Mr. Comptroller, what about the what about the expired union contracts? Special help for senior citizens and any special program I would like to volunteer to be a part of it. We will we can always use all the my name is Mamie Stone, I'm the mother of nine, grandmother of twenty-seven, and great grandmother of fifty. And I have a lot of ideas about things that can be done to help us make a difference. Absolutely. We'd love to have your help and can we get your whole family involved as yes, well? Yes, we did. All right, good. Yes, that's a lot of people right yes. there. Well, we, we know about that's where it all starts. The people have a lot of help. They have a lot to be with. They have a lot of needs. So I'd like to be involved with you. Thank you, Ms. Stone. How about that? That's the education. There's a number of contract. There's a number of union contracts that are expired. Is the city going to have money to pay for those and, and, and retroactive raises if, if those are part of it? See, that's a question that the current administration and the current mayor should be answering. With this much time still left in the term, I think it's just irresponsible to kick the can down the road, which is exactly what the mayor is doing right now. Adult the education uh, and, and uh, As a controller, how much you can do? What do you think? Uh, this, this is something that CUNY, CUNY used to be free for everybody. Mm -hmm. And over the years, it's gotten more and more expensive. The tuition has gone up much quicker than the rate of inflation. We need to start giving more students in this city a, chan a real chance to get their college education. We're lagging behind other major cities. Uh, we are trying to determine the exact cost of that because some of the top students in this city would already be able to go in, would, would already be going to colleges, whether they be CUNY or otherwise. And we're studying the issue and, and trying to figure out what the price is. Now you just had a
questions. One more, please. Um, okay, you go. did Cows? have a State of the City in February. This isn't even a year. So why are you doing another one in one year? The, according to the city charter, the city controller is actually supposed to report on the state of the city's fiscal and economic affairs in mid-December. So I feel bad last year we were a little bit late, but this year we're on time. Okay. Has nothing to we do have one other question over here, please, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.